again put up a video about decorative chargers, which are a type of plate, and it was such a good video. However, when I saw the video on her schedule, I thought that she meant phone chargers, so I was so confused when I saw her video. But ever since then, I haven't really been able to get it out of my head. Why don't we decorate phone chargers? They're the perfect blank slate to decorate to no end, and we already personalize our phone cases all the time, so why not do our chargers as well? Plus, if you're traveling, you'll be way less likely to leave it behind or mix it up with somebody else's if it's not just a plain white brick. So we're going to begin with a plain charger, and the secret to this DIY is printable sticker paper, which you can get at an office supply store or just online. So I went onto my computer and I made up some designs that I want to put onto my chargers, and I printed them onto sticker paper. Mine are in black and white because my color printer was out of ink, and I haven't had a chance to order more yet, but you can totally do this in color as well. So in the template, the big rectangle wraps around the charger block the medium rectangle wraps around the USB input, and then the smallest rectangle wraps around the phone input part. I'm going to put a link to the template in the description, but if you have a different sized charger, you can make your own template by taking a piece of tape and wrapping it around the charger, and then just laying that onto a ruler to see how long it has to be, and you can just make your own template pretty easily. But back to my designs, I started cutting them out with an X-Acto knife to get some really straight lines. Once all of them were cut out, I could just remove the backing and one by one wrap them around each part of the charger, making sure that there aren't any air bubbles and that it's not too crooked. all there is to it. Now you have a custom decorated charger, which you can make like I did with a monogram or with an animal print, or you could print out a slice of a photo, or you could just use any texture that you can find. But what if you prefer drawing by hand? Well, you can do that too by just printing out a blank template, or by taking the measurements that are on the template and then drawing them out yourself. For mine, I decided to go with a simple striped design out of markers. Once again, I just cut it out and put it on my charger, and I think it came out so cute. You can also use decorative scrapbook paper, but you're going to want to make sure that's a thin paper since a thick cardstock won't really work for this project. Just cut out the template from the sticker paper and use rubber cement to glue it onto the back of the scrapbook paper, making sure that the sticker part is facing up. Once that's dry, just cut it out again, remove the backing, and now you have one more custom charger. So if you don't have sticker paper, you can also just cover the back of your paper with double-sided tape, but I think that sticker paper is a little bit easier for this project. But if you don't have sticker paper and you also can't be bothered to deal with any templates, you can also just cover your charger with washi tape. I decided to go with pink tape for Valentine's Day coming up. And there you go, five ways to make cute and easy custom chargers for your phone. Tell me in the comments which one was your favorite or do you have any other ideas on how you could decorate them? And remember, if you have a standard iPhone charger, I'm gonna have the template down in the description which you can print out for free. Go make your own and make sure that you send me a picture if you do because I would love to see it. So thank you guys so much for watching HGTV Handmade. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned next week because that's when we're all going to be doing our Valentine's Day crafts. Happy DIYing and I will see you all next week. Bye everyone!